Hello and welcome to another Wolf Time gaming video. Great painting video for you today. A really, really super fast, easy paint scheme for those Fenrisian wolves. These are my old wolves that I had with an old chapter and I'm going to turn them into this. Absolutely fantastic paint scheme, really easy to do, hardly any paints, and they work perfectly with my Red Wolves chapter, uh, my homebrew chapter that I'm working at the moment for 9th edition um, Warhammer 40,000. Before we get started, as usual, let's get that kettle on. As I've just said, I've had these wolves for quite some time. You can see they've already got a load of basic material on there. You can see even the guy, the wolf on the left there has got a big hole um, where some of the basic material has come away. What I've done though, I've just um, sprayed straight over the top of the paint skin because it, it was very thin, it didn't put it on very thickly. So I just sprayed straight over the top with wraith bone to start again essentially and to get these looking really, really good and go with to go with my uh, red wolf chapter which is my homebrew chapter for Warhammer 40k. I really think these will do well in that. Uh, I haven't really got much wolfy stuff other than the, you know, the uh, green stuff things I've been doing with the Primaris and all their bits and pieces I've added on. But this is a more traditional feel to the uh, the wolf chapter, and I'm I'm really really excited to actually get these painted and um, and get them on the tabletop. So let's make a start. So after the base coat, the first thing I'm going to do is dot a little bit of Black Templar, contrast Black, te black Templar, onto some of the areas around the wolf, namely around the mouth, around the teeth, uh, snarling, some of the other wolves have got open mouths, so you just uh, paint all the inside of there. Inside the ear ears as well, he's got like two little eardrums and the eyes, so they're the, the three main areas I wanted to get some black paint on straight away and this contrast black templar works really really well because it leaves those uh, raised areas nice and light to move on to the next color for each individual piece the next color i'm going to use is the uh, skeleton horde another contrast paint absolutely fantastic if, if you've watched any of my other videos you'll know this is definitely a go-to for me it's a really really cool looking paint I, traditionally i always used to like using zandri dust um, nice light tan colour uh, with maybe highlights of a shabti bone and things like that for similar sort of colours as this. However, the skeleton horde is absolutely fantastic and perfect for the, like, the underbelly and the sort of the skin areas of the Fenrisian wolf. So the next area I was going to work on was the fur itself and to do that I've used Contrast Wildwood which is sort of a mid brown. You can see straight away there the raised areas are looking really cool. You don't really need to highlight with this at all. You literally stick it straight on, really big thick coat um, and get it on there. One thing I will say is if, if um, you go lightly on any areas or you try and paint sort of traditionally with this paint, uh, it does come away a little bit and you will get little areas of where the paint's pulled away completely. You get little dots of white, so make sure you do stick it on there nice and thick uh, and let it work its magic. As soon as you put it on there, you'll think, oh my God, what have I done? That's so dark. But as you leave it for just a few seconds, you'll see it pull away from all those raised areas and start looking really, really good. So the next part was the base, and to do that, I've gone back to normal sort of paints, normal, uh, in inverted commas there. In this instance, I've used Rhinox Hide, and as many of you know, if you've watched any of my older videos, this is, is also a go-to for me. Uh, it's a great uh, base colour to use um, at this, at, for any sort of basing material. You can stick it on there, and it's a really sort of dark colour that you can highlight quite easily. The next colour I've used is uh, Corvus Black on the rocks, uh, which are cork, um, and I've just stuck this straight over the top. It's almost like a, a grey sort of black, but it's great when using uh, on rocks and things, and then you can highlight it after. Um, it's also my go-to for around the bottom of the bases as well, to, to frame the models quite nicely. Um, which I'm going to do in a second as well, as you'll see, there we go. Uh, one thing I will note on this, you do need to do a couple of coats uh, with this Corvus Black, because it is quite thin and you can see the streaks through, but I'll do that right at the end. 
I also picked out the pads of the, uh, of the pores um, on the Fenrisium Wolf at this stage using that same paint, the Corvus Black. I could have used the uh, Contrast Black Templar for exactly the same thing, um, but the Corvus Black was out and it was a great time to just stick it on there and get a nice little effect with very little effort. Then it was on to dry brushing the actual rocks themselves and I've started off with Mechanicus Standard Grey. I've used this for all the rocks on my uh, Red Wolf chapter as um, the first level of dry brushing as it were. And then I've gone straight in and I've used um, Dawnstone as well straight onto the rocks which as you know if you watched any of the other videos it's a very similar colour to the actual um, the armour of the space walls and I think it's quite nice because then you're only using um, a certain amount of paints you don't have to go out there and buy every color in the world uh, for your paints to highlight the actual base itself as i said the um rhinox hydra is really just a base coat you know it's the bottom layer of the paint uh, for the basin and i've actually used mournfang which is a lot lighter brown and you can see it really stands out but it stands out to a point where it looks quite nice um, and really um sets itself apart especially all the raised areas and things on the basin i mean you can just use normal sort of basic material that you can pick up from anywhere and just stick that straight down if you wanted to and I'm actually doing that now I'm covering uh, the base with a little bit of snow to add to the um, effect of the Femrisium wolf being on a very snowy area as that sort of traditional uh, look for the space walls and which I want to try and capture with my red wolf chapter as well the snow that I'm using is the games workshop one um, it's the Valhalla Blizzard, so it's really nice and thick and you can pop it on there spread it around a little bit so it looks a little bit more natural so you've got some heaps of snow and some areas where it started to melt but it's not completely bare and it's looking really really good and there you have it models complete hardly any effort you can get them on the tabletop really really quickly and that's the main thing with these isn't it if you wanted to add a little bit more detail you could go in there you could highlight the edges of the fur a little bit if you wanted to maybe with uh, Zandri dust you could go on in there with the teeth and highlight the teeth with a little bit of um, a shabti bone or something like that the tongue you can see on the wolf on the right there is a little bit of scream of pink just to make that stand out but you don't need to add any of those details if you don't want to because you can get to gaming straight away but thanks very much for watching guys make sure you do hit that subscribe button go and check out the link on the screen now to all the other space wolf stuff i've been doing or the red wolf chapter as i've called them um i really appreciate your time watching these videos if you've got any suggestions for me going forward feel free to comment down below otherwise i'll see you in the next one